Hello everybody, this is Lilla in Hawaii. I'm making some Italian Renaissance fashion plates and fashion uh, pages into different items. I've been working on some of them for quite a long time and I thought I would show you a few that I have on the desk right now. But the first one is going to be this paper bag. So I've cut out a sheet from a sheet that I printed off the internet and I'm going to put it on this paper bag and all I did was I simply folded the paper bag in half where the dip that's on the little paper bag is right there and then I'm going to glue this on this side and I'm going to glue another one on the back. First of all I'll just use some if I can find it, yeah, here it is, this glue. I don't normally cut off the top parts. I like to just turn them over. It adds strength to the top. You know, the top of the bag is always where it gets the most wear. And so I'm going to put this one here. It doesn't need to be much because it's going to be sewn. So I don't need a whole lot. Okay, so as I said, I've turn this under and I'm going to attach it right there. I love these ladies and I love this look. I'm going to put all the information below where I um, purchased this set from the internet and I'll put all the instructions down below. So that's on one side of it. So that will go like that and as I said it's going to be sewn but you don't sew it until, I mean, you don't put it together until I've sewn it because otherwise I'd be sewing the pocket closed. So now I've just got to find something for the back. And I did have some nearby for the back. I'm working on about six things at once. Yeah, this this will do. So I've got this piece. And usually what I do is I turn it that way so I can see where, where I am. And I'm going to fold I'm going to fold that up which is this, the bottom. Well actually it will be the top of course. I'm just going to put some glue to hold that. And then I'm going to fold this side over. I don't know whether you saw that or not, but anyway, I'm, basically what I'm doing is I'm covering the whole of this. And I've just put this here to figure out how wide it's going to be. And normally I would rip it off with a ruler, but today I'm not going to. It's just easier to just cut it off. So I've got that. And then I'm going to... I don't want to cover the bottom there because that's where the lady's feet are. So I've just got to make sure that it's just going to be, let me see, like, probably like that. And I'll cut that bit off and see how I go. Oh, that matches good. Now I can do this. That holds that down. So it's all covered. That's the back. Now, of course, when I stitch it, I'll be stitching like that. And then, finally, I will fold it up and stitch the sides. And, of course, I'll be trimming off white bits. could do some right now. But before I do that, I wanted to find something else to embellish it with. So let me see if I have anything around. Um, 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 I thought a little piece of lace. Let me see, I've got, I've got some little button flowers. Oh, those, that looks good, I like that. But I wouldn't sew that on probably with the machine. I think that would be glued on. 
So that'd be good. And I'll see if I can find some lace. But here's my lace. Did you see it? <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. What have I got here? I like that color. I think that's a rather nice color, that one. Well, for this particular thing. Okay. Some of this lace I'm looking at, um, it's nice, but it needs attention. It needs to be either dyed in tea or it needs, you know, something. Or it needs a press and iron or something like that. Anyway, that, that's a start. So let me see here. So, okay, so I've got this. Well, actually, though, this is a whole motive. And I thought that was kind of good. Um, and then I also have that, which, oh, yeah, I like that on the bottom. That's what I'm going to do. I'll put that on the bottom. Or should I put it on the top? No, I like it on the bottom. Okay, so this I'm not going to use. This I like. Okay, so I'm going to go to the machine, and I'm not sure if it's just going to be white thread. That's all I've got on the machine. So just do that with the machine. But I'm going to do that just with a straight stitch. Let me see. Actually, I think I like it on there when it's folded. I want it right on the very edge. Okay. So now I've put the lace on the bottom, and I really like that. And I'm going to put one or two of these on there as well. But now I need to put the handle, and I decide it would be string. And usually what I do is I tie a knot on each end of it. It's a, As I said, it's about 18 inches. I've gone ahead and I've put lace on the bottom. I had to fold it because I couldn't sort of do it straight otherwise. So I've already got it folded like the paper bag. And I've put lace on the bottom, that old lace that I found. And I've got the hanger ready to sew here on each side. And I'm just, I put some of that glue stick on there. So I just have to wait a little minute because if I don't, you know, I'll get glue all over everything on there. So that's the front of it, and that's going to be the back of it. And there will be a little more embellishment on it. As I said, I'm going to put some flowers on it. And let's see what else I have. I have it. another piece of lace. Let's see if that would look good. would look good. I like the idea of something poking up. Um, I like that, but it's a little too... I think that's a little too thick, that lace. But I do like a bit of trim showing at the top. Well, what if I put just a bit more of this, but put inside? That might work. Instead of putting it right across, just putting it there. Maybe like that. I like that. Okay, so that's like just part of this. Okay, so now I'm going to sew this across just part of it here, right here, before it's sewn up the sides. to realign that handle again. Okay. So now I've got a little bit of lace here. It's open at the top, so I've got a nice little pocket. So I've got 
a nice little pocket here. A little bit of lace at the top. I've got hangers on the sides so it'll hang. Then I'm going to put some of this and I'm going to look for a sticker or something else. But I'll come back to that. I feel like I've done all I need to on this little pouch. This was, remember, it was the paper bag. And I've probably got a few strings to cut off yet. So it was one paper bag, folded in half, covered back and front. I've already added a sticker here. Just a little added embellishment. I did a little bit of zigzag stitching on it. Then I put some old lace down at the bottom here and an old fabric flower that I think came from Daiso. And then I have just made this little patch that has 18th, 18th of June 1936. And um, I layered it with several things, actually. I used some Georgette. Just show you if I can. And I used some lace, this kind of lace edging. And then I put a little bit of tea dyed seam binding and I sewed those all together and then I just glued on the word. And at the top, to sort of carry on with this kind of asymmetrical look, I've already put the um, a piece of lace here and then I've put the handles in here. So here are the handles, glued and stitched on each side. And this is in the opening. So now you've got a cute little pocket, a gift pocket. And it'll hold all sorts of interesting things. Paper dolls, maybe. Anyway, so I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.